here from Snazzy Curations. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm working in my background book. I'm going to do another background. And today I was wanting to do a like a grungy type of a background. I really like that sort of look. So I've gone ahead and grabbed out a pile of scraps, um, pieces of scraps. There's some scrap magazine images, painted papers, some stamped images, some book papers. I've got all sorts of stuff in here. Um, I keep just about everything. I have a box next to me, just in the cover box, and I just stick everything in here and then I just go through and find bits. So I want to make like a grungy background so I'm sort of trying to um, pick out a little bit more sort of muted colours not too bright I mean that's pretty bright but anyway so I'm going to use that I'm going to use PVA glue to glue it down with and I'm also going to be using sewing pattern paper so if you don't have any and you'd like to get some the best place is your local secondhand shop or charity shop or whatever your pop shop or whatever you call it where you live so I've got a bit of that because that adds a lovely texture on top of that so um, let's get started eh? so I'm going to just move this to the side and I've got my bit of paper right down my steps. I keep forgetting to do that and I have to go back and watch the video uh, to see what I did. <laughs> so this time I'll have to remember to write down my steps. So I'm going to work, that was the very first one I did, so I'm going to go to, I'm going to work sort of front to back just to try and keep the spine nice and even. Alright, so I've got a bit of paper around a bit of um, baking paper just to protect the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, I'm just going to tear them up into small pieces. Just a few bits. Um, I might just, might just grab that butterfly and put the rest back in my box. Not sure I'll keep it for a moment. I don't know. Also got a bit of, um, what do you call it, napkin or, um, what do you call it, napkin or there's another name for it. I can't think of it at the moment. Anyway, I've got a bit of napkin that I've used for something. So I've grabbed that as well because it's so gorgeous. Just love those sort of colours. It's beautiful. Um, I think I'm going to use a bit of that. I'm just gonna. I've got this is a bit of paper that uh, I think my husband, when he was doing some sort of training course, he came back with a book full of writing stuff. So anyway, he was gonna throw it out. I grabbed it and I've been painting over it. So anyway, I might um, glue all these down and, um, and then I'll be back and show you. All right, I'm nearly done gluing this. I'm just going to put the last few pieces on. Thought I'd bring you back so you can just have a look. I love using these. Um, I stamp on my painted papers with my stamps. And I think they're just adorable. They make such great pieces for collage and for anything really. Um, just one more little piece there I think. I think I might just grab a bit of this yellow there. Get my PVA glue. Alright. Okay, so I've got 
I'm just going to let that dry. Actually, I'll just get my credit card now. And just, I like to um, run them over and it just uh, makes them stick down better. Get a little bit. Just going to pop a little bit of glue in there. all done. I'm going to let that dry and when it's dry I'll come back with the next step. Oh, it's all dry now. I'm going to pop, I've just cut out the piece of sewing machine pattern paper and I'm going to use matte medium to glue it down with. so that I don't glue the other page onto this one. gives it that aged look straight away. It's going to pop a little bit more on top. Might actually go to a different brush because that one's a bit rough. And this is pretty um, delicate paper. And the reason I'm using matte medium because it's I want to lay some uh, other things on top. And it just is a bit more friendly than the PVA glue. I'm letting things stick on top of it. Alright. I'm just going to put a little bit of edge. I'm just going to stick it on the other side. It's fine. Just have to let that dry now. And once that's dry, I'll be back. That's looking pretty cool. This is nice and dry now. I'm going to apply some uh, gesso. I've just got a, a foam roller. Just going to get a bit of Actually, just spray a little bit of water just to make it a bit more movable. here and there. Alright, I'm going to have to let that dry now. 
Um, but I think I will, <coughs> excuse me, apply that to something. point in wasting any products because they certainly cost enough money. Okay, so I'm just going to let that gesso dry and I better just write it down on my little paper and when it's all dry I'll be back. Okay, this is dry. Now I've got my box of water soluble crayons. I'm going to use, I picked out my portfolio ones and then I've got a few different colours here. I've got moss, I've got the white, black, and what's this one? This one is called golden brown. So I think I'm just going to just randomly add some. Some a bit of colour here and there. I think I'll just go around the outside first, probably with all the colours, and then I'm just going to randomly add a little bit here and there. Might not need the white, but I'll just have a look after I sort of blend it. And with the brown, I'm just sort of going to go a little bit all over. And now to blend it. Actually, just use. I think I'm just going to grab a baby wipe. All right, it's got a baby wipe, and I think I'm just going to go around there. Uh, Outside first. Might actually take away too much of it. I think it's taking away too much of it. I think I might just spritz it with a water bottle and then use my finger. can go with the baby wipe afterwards and just rub it back a little bit. Just a little bit. I actually feel like I need to bring some of that white with the white. Might just let that dry. Actually, what I might do is I might 
Let's go around there. Outside with my black again. So I like that dark. Rubbing the, rubbing the um, tissue paper off, not the tissue paper, the um, sewing paper. Be a little bit careful with it. I might have to let this dry and then come back and yeah, I think I'll just let it dry and then I'll be back. Alright, it's pretty dry now. So I'm thinking I'm gonna add some. This is a deco art uh, metallics, dazzling metallics, and it's teal. So I think that might look. I'm gonna just put a little bit, a few dobs, and I'm just gonna use my sponge roller just to pick it up a little bit. Finish it off. I've got a stays on ganache, I think it's called. I think I'm just going to sort of lightly. I'm hoping to pick up the um, texture. Might just stab it, I think. I'm happy with that. That's turned out really beautiful. Alright guys, I think that's it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. That would be wonderful. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a lovely day.
Bye-bye for now.